now representation now covalent solid for diamond so for example now this is our crystalline solid okay then in this crystalline solid the arrangement of ions like this so specific position or specific shape so these are the constant particles these constant particles are attached in together which is a close together so this is the regular arrangement regular pattern so the distance between the this distance in diamond is 151 parameter okay, means this is what the structure of diamond so diamond is a odd substance is consisting of covalent bond this is a non conductor so while applying of graphite so we we observing of graphite structure in graphite in graphite these are all the rings are existing in hexagonal rings hexagonal rings so this is the arrangement of graphite this is a one layer if you observing of another layer so this is a space the space between the layer so due to the presence of space in a graphite it exhibit conductance property and it is a soft substance so different layers are present okay so all the constant particles are arranged like this this is your constant particle at a specific position so this is arrangement of regular pattern this is the atom or particle okay this is a one layer so this is what joint like structure generally the network solid is nothing but a joint like structure so arrangement so one atom is attached like this so so like this so this is your arrangement so these are the examples of crystalline solid or network solid so regular pattern this is so arrangement like this so this is your graphite that is the structure of graphite that is a giant like structure this is your diamond structure now we discuss so this is your classification of crystalline solid now this total topic now represent in a table so that is we are consider a specific under headings one is first one is type of solid nature of bonding second column and next one example example and next one is attraction forces so what are the attraction forces are present between the particles attractions between the particle attraction between the particles that is another column and next one is conductance property so conductance or conductivity property and next one nature so nature so nature of solid that is hard substance or soft substance so this is we discussed here now now first one is non polar solid so molecular solids are classified into three types in that first one is non polar solid the non polar solid is containing which bonding here attractions are london dispersion forces london dispersion force is present here example for non polar is 
helium neon here attractions the nature of bonding so nothing but your nature of bonding in this non non polar solid is molecular solid this is your molecular bonding is present okay here attraction is this one land and dispersion forces dispersion force here conductance the non polar solids are non conductors are insulator so these are the insulators nature of solid is these are your soft substance the nature of solid is this is your soft substance so this is our first one and next one is polar solid in that polar solid also the molecular bonding is present so means the constant particle is molecule for this polar solid example is h2o and hcl here in between the molecules dipole dipole attractions are present these are also insulators means non conductors these are again soft substance but its melting point boiling point is very high okay so we consider another character melting point and boiling point so melting point is low here melting point is low but this melting point the polar solid melting point is very high compared to non polar solid and next one is hydrogen bond hydrogen bond solid these are also molecular solid here nature of bonding is molecular this hydrogen bonding example is hf okay now here which type of attraction is present hydrogen bonding attraction hydrogen bond attraction is present so these are also insulator but the nature of substance is somewhat hard here conductance properties again increases or brittle or fairly and next one is if we consider ionic solid here nature of bonding is ionic bond example sodium chloride or quartz so these are the ionic solids here nature of bonding is ionic bond here attraction between the particles here attraction between the particles again we state which attractions are present ionic attractions ionic attractions are present these ionic solids are insulator these are insulator in these are insulator in solid state but but in molten state molten state are in liquid in dissolves in liquid state these are exhibit these are exhibit are shows these are the in molten state these are shows conductance property these are shows conductance property the nature of solid for ionic solids are very hard substance its melting point boiling point value also high compared to remaining solids and next one is covalent solid in covalent solid a covalent bond is present example here three two types of examples one is diamond silicon carbide aluminum nitride and next one is graphite okay these three are here shows which characters are present here again covalent bond attractions covalent attractions are present here also same but diamond silicon carbide these all are insulators but graphite is a conductance property it shows conductance property because freely delocalized nature the diamond is a hard substance it shows high melting point and boiling point 
graphite is a soft substance shows less melting point and boiling point so this is a covalent bond and last one is metallic bond or metallic solid in metallic solid metallic bonding is present examples are iron cobalt nickel okay here metallic bond bond is present this is our metallic solid okay so this is your sixth one in that the attraction between the particles the attraction between the particles here freely delocalized the free electrons are present the free delocalized electrons are present due to that it, its conductance it shows conductance property generally the metallic conductors or metallic solids are hard substance these are shows high melting point and high boiling point nature so this is the distinguish between the molecular solids ionic solids covalent solid and metallic solids so this is the classification of molecular solids